human, right? And their relationships are built, so I miss people, you know, uh, the guys you mentioned, obviously, and others. Um, but in the profession as a coach, you, you know, you, you move on. We try to build and develop and come up with something else. The, the, the second part of the question with uh, the leadership, we just kind of look and see where it goes right now. Uh, some guys are natural. They step up, step up. I'm in the ears once in a while, you know, giving a couple of pointers here or there. Um, and we'll see where it goes. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. We've had, I think today was the fifth OTA. We can actually do some of the blending. Um, but there's some positive signs, so hopefully it keeps going like that. We were just sitting there waiting, let, letting Brett Veach and his crew do their work, and um, he's asking questions, and there's a lot. But made the decision to go up. We certainly love what we did because of the player we got. Uh, I think Trent's going to help us. Um, George, it was nice to have a second first-round pick, right? And George was there. I think Brett probably went through all of that. Uh, we're just happy we got two really good football players and two guys that I think uh, are what we look for in character, uh, passion for the game of football, work ethic, all those things. And it's showing up right now. The Zoom meeting that we had, I mean, of course, we had a lot of them, right? And there were other guys, obviously, in there that impressed me. But there was something about him that I said, boy, if we could get this kind of person in here, um, I think that would be an extra bonus in addition to the fact that he was a really good football player. But that's kind of what I was talking about when I said that. A lot of new faces. There's youth. Um, the system's new to a lot of the guys, uh, even if they're not young. Um, I'm going through a eyeball what should we do, shouldn't do all the time. And I'm throwing a lot at them right now, uh, and, they're, and they're probably talking that way. The vo volume's huge right now for a reason. You know, find out who can handle it, who can't. We'll never go into a game with all of this. Um, so there'll be mistakes out there that normally I don't think we would make. There's going to have to be some growth, you know, within the game, so to speak. There's gonna, we're going to have to live with some growing pains. I believe that. Uh, hopefully we can overcome them. Uh, but I think that's the only way we're going to get it to where we need it to go. Um, because you're right. You, you just look at the – some guys are going to have to step up there and play. So. A little tinkering. Um, in certain spots, it won't be anything that you'll see. But I, right now, I believe what we got to do is you know, we have a system that we believe in. There's a foundation of what we do, and we need to find out about the guys that we have now. There's a lot of unknowns I'm from, from a coaching standpoint. What can this guy do? Can that guy do that? Can he do the same thing somebody did last year? There, that may or may not be the case. So, it's and it's going to be it's going to take some time. I mean, I'm hoping that the you know we're, we've got it figured out by the Arizona game, but um, we'll have something figured out by the Arizona game. We won't know if the right one until the game's over, I guess. But, uh.